my name's Courtney, and just to give you a little background on myself, I have three kids and one on the way, so this will make number four. Um, and this is going to be a pregnancy vlog. Um, I, I've never done one of these before, so this is the first time. Um, he, he wanted to join. He wouldn't, he likes to be with mommy. <laughs> uh, this is actually my fifth pregnancy. Um, I had a miscarriage with my last pregnancy. So that's really given me a new perspective on this pregnancy because I hadn't had one before. I had all the others. Um, so I just never even expected anything to go wrong. Um, and it, it wasn't a bad miscarriage at all. Um, I know lots of women suffer way worse miscarriages than I did, but um, it is interesting how it makes you view the next pregnancy. Like, I feel like you just kind of live in this constant state of disbelief that you're actually going to have one because last time, you know, you didn't, it didn't result in that. Um, so there's just this weird nagging feeling that it's not real. Um, I don't know if I'd call it fear. Sometimes, you know, I'm more like, I would feel better if I could hear their heartbeat or I feel better if this, but I don't know. It's just this heart disbelief. I think that's the best word I can think of. Um, I am 18 and a half weeks. This today's actually an OB appointment. Um, it won't, we won't find gender out today. We find it out in about three weeks, which I'm super excited. I am almost a hundred percent sure it's a girl. Like I just can't even, I can't even imagine it not being a girl. I don't know why that's just the feeling I've had since day one is that it's a girl. Um, which would be nice because I have boy, girl, boy. So it'd be nice if this is a girl. Um, it'd be exciting. Uh, uh, Cookie? Yep. Uh-oh, you dropped it. You dropped it. Um, anyway, so it's been an okay pregnancy. It was a really rough first three months. Um, I had a lot, a lot of morning sickness, and I felt horrible just all the time. Just all the time sickness. Um <laughs> And then it started lightening up finally around 13 weeks, um, and it became more of like I only felt bad part of the day. And then I didn't really start feeling good most time until about 15 weeks. So not really that that long. And even now, I still have a day or two here or there that I just I really don't feel very good. But for the most part, I feel pretty good, and I have my energy back. Um, I'm able to finally get some things done and do some stuff. So, which I also, we homeschool. Um, this is our first year homeschooling for like real, you know, you, you do things with preschoolers, but, um, he is a kindergartner and so we're homeschooling for our first official school year and then, um, he is six. And then my daughter is four and she loves to do preschool work and then this little guy yeah. is, um, just turned two. So, um, and the babies do in July. So they're all about two years apart, which is, is nice spacing. Um, I don't know what I should share on the pregnancy blog. Um, I, I'm showing some, but I feel like I'm smaller than I was with the others. Um, this is about all, all I'm showing. So I don't know. I, uh, and I feel like that just popped like the last two weeks. Before that, I feel like I didn't really have much of anything. So I don't know, maybe she's just gonna grow really big here towards the end. Um, but uh, I'm also starting out this pregnancy heavier than I started out any of my other pregnancies. So I'm kind of curious to see what the end result will be of that. Like, will I be 15 pounds heavier at delivery than I was with the others or does it all even out? I don't know. I'm not really worried about it. Um, pregnancy weight never really bothers me because it's pregnancy weight. It's just part of being pregnant. Um, but it is curious to see kind of what what will happen. So I, uh, the reason I started, I, I never really lost my baby weight from him. So that's kind of, where are you going? Where the extra was? Um, you mean a goofer. You mean a goofer. Can you say hi? Say hi. Wave. Say hi. Hi. Um, I 
did want to say though that I just is there anyone else out there who has had a miscarriage which I know you get there are I know there's tons of you um and then you're on your next pregnancy like do you have that same nagging feeling that just weird maybe you guys can verbalize it better than I am but it's just I don't know it's just so weird and I feel like the day that baby actually gets here is just going to be I mean it's always the best day ever but I think it's just going to be such a relief and such a just a oh, moment you know it's like she's here she's actually here there really is a baby I, it's I just I don't know I I look forward to that and I just I never thought that it would have that a miscarriage would affect my thoughts so much on future pregnancies I just I, and I'm amazed, too, at how much I think of the miscarriage with this pregnancy. Because I would say before, I mean, yes, it was, I mean, it was a miscarriage and it was hard. And, you know, I, I had went through a time of, like, kind of grief and stuff. But for the most part, I, I feel like I kind of had moved on. But I feel like this almost brings up more emotions and more thoughts about it than I almost had before. Which I guess part of that's probably just the pregnancy hormones, you know, because you kind of everything's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get go get a drink out of the other room. Go get your drink. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't, it's a real interesting. I don't know dilemma. Um, makes you think a lot about the previous one. So, and I was, I was really early, so, you know, I don't know, boy, girl, anything, I, um, I was so early, I don't think we'd even actually, we didn't even get a heartbeat when I went in, um, I had already miscarried, it was like 10 weeks, but we hadn't had a heartbeat yet, so, that plays a whole nother thing, I was like, was it even, was there really even a baby, but yet there was, I don't, it's just, it really messes with your mind and your emotions and you just I don't know I feel like you're just all over and you don't know what to think and I don't know this is and this is honestly this is kind of the first I've even really talked about it I don't I don't talk much about it I'm kind of a private person which is kind of ironic since I'm posting this on YouTube for anyone to see <laughs> but um I don't know I just I kind of felt like talking about it some and sharing and you know, I wanted to get more, I mean, I'm excited about this pregnancy and just, I don't know, maybe just feel more real if I do a vlog and we'll just kind of take this and, I mean, I know, I know, see, there's that night, I know, like, I could still miscarry, even though I'm 18 and a half weeks, I know that, I mean, you still can, um, I mean, it's really not guaranteed till they're in your hands, but, I don't know, I mean, each week that passes, I do think I feel better and more, like, comfortable with it um I don't know it's just it's been an experience um I'm also glad though I had the experience because I don't feel like you can really understand what another woman is going through that has had a miscarriage if you haven't had one yourself even if it was early on like mine was I I know the amount of grief I would have had is not the same as a a friend that maybe would have one, you know, way further down the line, or even one that delivers and, you know, has a stillbirth. That I just, I can't even imagine the heartbreak of that. But it definitely lets you have a glimpse into what the other people are feeling. And I feel like because of that, I'm able to be more compassionate with that. And I just, I understand, I understand better. Um, so I'm thankful for the experience in that, that there's another way I can relate to people and understand them and know how to love on them, um, or at least love on them the way that I would want to be loved on. I, we all are different, you know, so we take things differently, but I definitely feel like there's a new level of understanding there. Um, but it looks like my time's almost up. I don't know that they'll let me record much more. So that's my first vlog. Everything's pretty good. I have a doctor's visit today, so I will be able to share more soon. And hopefully with the next one, I'll be able to tell you a gender. Um, so bye and thank you for watching and I hope you come back.